Hi there, it's Beauty Junkie. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm getting into my 2022 beauty favorites, including makeup and skincare, and a little bit of fragrance. I am so excited to film this video. It's the end of the year, and I put this makeup look together with a lot of my favorite products. And I also threw in some things that I just wanted to wear and try because I haven't used them in a while or at all talking about this eyeshadow in particular. I don't think I've worn this yet, but I'm loving it. Um, I just wanted to remind you guys, if you haven't subscribed, but you are enjoying what you are seeing, please subscribe. I need to get to a thousand <laughs> one of these days. Um, if you like this video, remember to click the thumbs up, leave a comment. Everything you do really helps out my channel. That's very, very small. All right, guys, so let's get into my makeup favorites. I basically put everything in a box and I'm going to pull it out and we're going to talk about it. I already did my makeup. I am ready. I'm channeling my inner Al Elsa with this eyeshadow. It is, I wouldn't say it's my absolute favorite eyeshadow of the year, but I love this formula and this is from Cleona Cosmetics. It's one of their multi-chrome formulas. Um, this eyeshadow is a deep iridescent multi-chrome cerulean. That is the blue color you see there. And then on my inner corner, I have Lux, same brand. And then I'll talk about the other eyeshadows on my face later. So let's get into complexion, foundation, all of that stuff. Okay, so I have not a lot of foundations, but a lot of concealers and complexion types of things. But after looking at all the foundation I bought this year, there wasn't... A lot that I absolutely loved um, but we're <laughs> let's get into primer first um, so this is a very affordable product from ELP this is the power grip primer I actually bought the the thing that it's duping which is the milk hydro grip I like both of them um, I'm trying to finish up this elf one but this is what I use today and you can see I'm almost out of it I've really been liking it it does help out keep with keeping my foundations looking better lasting longer it does not make my skin super hydrated but it does help things stick i do have a little bit of issues around my chin that it maybe a different primer would help with but overall i have been liking this product let's jump into the foundation that i have like this came out at the beginning of the year i believe this is the chanel number one foundation I have the shade BR12. I've talked about this a couple times this year. Um, I think I included this in my mid-year beauty favorites. Um, still liking this foundation. This is what I put on today. And underneath it, I put on another e.l.f. product, the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. This is the shade 1, the lightest shade. I wish it was a little bit lighter. But I really like the glow that my skin has right now, especially in the winter. I'm feeling really dry and crusty. So I like a little bit of glow and a little just something extra right now um, with the heater on and the dry climate. It's just not great. Um, so I like this combination a lot. I feel like it gives me a good enough amount of coverage, not too much. My skin looks fairly good. It's fairly easy to work with. Another foundation that I use a lot in the summer. This is actually more of a tinted product from Chantecaille, the Future Skin Oil-Free Gel Foundation in Alabaster love this product i think i got a good weight through it actually and i honestly like it better than the tube formula from shanta guy it just melts into the skin i can apply it with my fingers it's just easy i like the way my skin looks it doesn't last all day because it's a tinted formula but i really like it um, another complexion product that i have used more at the end of this year I would say overall, I like this one. It sometimes for me, depending on how my skin is, can be hit or miss. It's a complexion stick product. I normally don't buy foundations like this, but I was curious. It does not give tons of coverage, but it's really easy to work with. And I've been blending it in with my Sonia G Fusion series, the classic base. And this combination has worked really well. But sometimes I feel like my trouble areas this doesn't lay so nicely, but overall I do enjoy it. And I did like it in the summer. I liked it over my e.l.f. primer. Um, so overall, pretty good product. Um, and just really 
fast. If you like fast makeup, I recommend that one. It doesn't give a whole lot of coverage though. But yes, needed to mention the Sonia G face brushes. These have really helped my foundation game so I don't have to just rely on sponges to really blend in my foundation. I have found that a lot of foundation brushes for me didn't really work, but this helps get them into my skin. This is the, the mini base as well. I have some other sizes and shapes, but just wanted to mention these really quick. All right, into concealer. I bought a lot of concealer, and as you've noticed, some of these products are not new, but they're new to me. And I got some very popular concealer products and one new one. I'll talk about the new one first. This is the Charlotte Tilbury, Tilbury Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. I would say this shade is probably too light for me. This is number two fair, but it is really brightening. And I like the formula, it's hydrating. It does well under my light, under my eyes, but mostly it really brightens. And then on top of that, the airbrush powder, the brightening powder also really does the trick, really brightens underneath the eyes. I would just be careful not to overdo it because you can have actually almost too much white under the eyes. But big fan of the Charlotte Tilbury, this combination here. I got the foundation this year. I have used it a few times. I don't love it, but I do still use it once in a while, but it's not in this favorites video. Another concealer do I picked up from Clay to Poe. I believe this stick concealer has been reformulated since I purchased it. It has SPF. This one I really liked at first um, and have used it quite a bit, but sometimes I do feel like putting too much actually makes my creases look worse. But I'm just still in my favorites video because it's very, it does a good job otherwise concealing. This is the brightening pen. I use this one today in combination with the one I'm about to show you as a more of a brightening effect. And this is a click pen, has a little brush on it. Very nice combination together or by themselves. This is one I picked up recently and I'm very impressed with. This is the Sicily. This is the Sicily Fido Series Eclat Eye Concealer number one shade. It's too yellow for me, but I really like what it does for the eyes. It's not super full coverage. It's more of a medium coverage concealer, but it just does a great job of smoothing. And so I've been liking it. It has the metal tip sort of cooling applicator, which is nice. It comes with a brush. I don't use it. I use a sponge, but I do like this one. Okay, let's get into other complexion stuff. A lot of creams this year, of course. Everyone was into <laughs> putting out creams and there was a lot of cream, bronzer, contour, all of that. And I love the way that these two are formulated. So this first one I purchased is from Rare Beauty. Ooh, the label has worn off. I believe this is called Power Boost or something like that. Um, I'm not sure of the shade. I'm pretty sure it's the lightest or the second to lightest. This is what I put on my face today and I do look actually a little bit tan because of it. Um, this is so creamy, so easy to blend. I have tried a few things from Rare Beauty. I know there are certain products people love and I probably need to go pick those up. Um, but I'm always a little bit nervous about a celebrity brand, but I really like this product from Rare Beauty. So good and creamy. A similar product, but more bronzy is the Merit Beauty Bronze Balm and more of a lighter formula, just uh, more sheer. This is the shade Clay. And this is more of a bronzy stick. You can see the warmth and the color. It's very similar products, very easy to apply. I believe this is the second darkest shade and I am a fan of it. I would say the packaging of this is inconsistent with the rest of the brand. This is really lightweight, but I do enjoy the product. Another product from Merit, their cream highlighter. Everyone's loving. This is the shade Clay. I believe it's kind of their most cool toned icy formula or shade. This is Kava, the highlighting balm. Really love it. It gives a nice glow. It's not enough of a highlight for me if I really want to be highlighty, but it's super natural. Okay, on with the creams. Cream blush this is not a new product from Clay to Poe, but I tried it this year and it's really pigmented and smooth and just something about it that's so good. This is the number two blush cream the pink shade and I think this formula is superb. It's so expensive, but so worth it. 
there. I wish I were more colors to be honest, but this is something worth trying. Another blush I that's very expensive, very but I really like it and I want to get more shades. This is the Gucci blush. And this is the shade one silky rose. I felt it in the store. It felt so smooth. And there's something about this color that I really like. And it's just easy to apply. And the packaging, it's luxe. It's heavy. It's, there's a little mirror in here. The little stars are cute. It's very appealing. Another powder blush that I really like this year is from M Cosmetics Heaven's Glow Blush in Baroque. This is what I have on my cheeks today. It has a lot of shine and sheen. It's kind of a peachy, beigey, tan pink color. It's a little bit strange, but I love it. Some say it's probably too dark for me. I don't care. I love this color. Powder highlight. I was really impressed by this highlighter. It's their reformulation, the Clay de Peau Luminizing Face Enhancer. This is 201 Twilight's Glow. The color is a bit icy, but it's a standout. It's very you can see it, so I appreciate that about this. The packaging is to die for. This mosaic is beautiful. It comes with a little brush, mirror. I mean, pick a shade. I would say probably going in person is the best because going online and looking at all these colors can be a bit confusing because you don't know really what it's going to look like. You might want to go to a department store and see if you can swatch these to figure out the best shade for you. But I picked this one and I am liking it. Okay, I'm going to go into brows now. So these are some pretty recent purchase from purchases for me, but I've been loving them both. This is the, I think this is Give. This is Gwen Stefani Eyebrow Pencil Brow Instant Definition Sculpting, <laughs> Sculpting Brow Pencil Most Def. Oh, I can't talk. I like the shape of this one. It looks strange. It looks weird. It's kind of big. It's got some angles. I really like it. I think it gives a lot of definition quickly while still looking natural. It has a spoolie on the other end. I really like this one. And then on top, I'm putting the Patrick Ta Major Brow Lamination Gel. I don't know that this is new this year, but it gives you a quick brow gel. And I just like the brush on it. It's almost like glue. So I feel like this clear brow gel works better than others. Okay, let's get into eyeliners and then liquid eyeshadows and then we'll get into eyeshadow palettes. Liquid eyeshadows, I have, I believe these are new shades of this year. The Lisa Eldridge Liquid Lorex Shadows. I really like these Nice and Emily. They're so easy to apply sparkly, like liquid metal on the lids. Really love these shades. You should try at least one from the brand. Eyeliner. So I've gotten into Chanel eyeliner this year. I started out with Brune Agape, which was really good. I got Prune Intense, which is also nice. I just really like this formula, the waterproof, Stilo U waterproof proof formula. I do like the ones with a little bit of shimmer in them versus just the pure mattes. Also loving the About Face eyeliners. These are the Longwear Gel eyeliners. They come in a lot of colors. I have Equestrian and the blue one on my lids right now is blue is the new black. I also love my Victoria Beckham eyeliners. Um, she came out with a lot of new shades this year and I picked up a couple including the new purple, the green, there's a lot going on this year with those new shades, um, but I wanted to point out these two. Mascara, I really, this is not new, the Mac Stack. Black Stack Mascara. This is a mini size. I want to get a bigger one because I think I'm running out. I really like this one. I didn't think I would. A lot of people love it, but I'm a huge fan of this. Gives me everything I want in my stubby lashes. For my stubby lash lips. I mean, I bought some new lipstick shades, but they're not new formulas, but <laughs> these I wanted to call out. The Sicily Fido Rouge Shine Rosewood. Have to mention this one again. This is a new one for me. The Dior Lip Glow Oils. I got into these this year. They're so nice. And the Chanel Lip Gloss. Rouge Cocoa Gloss number 804. This is what I have on my lips right now. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. So these are these two together is what is on my lips and it's a beautiful combination. 
a little bit of definition, makes your lips look bigger, plus the gloss, reflective, more plump. Great combo. Let's get into eyeshadow, smaller palettes first. I have to mention the Chanel Tweed, this version. This is the West for Ombres Tweed, number four Tweed Brunette Rose. This is, was limited edition. You can't pick it up again, but I wanted to mention it because it is new yet this year. I really liked a lot of these shades. This dark one, I'm probably not gonna use well, much, but these three, I actually really liked uh, the look. I thought it was really pretty and natural, and I like the little the little tweed pouch. Um, as far as Wayne Goss, I feel like he came out with a couple palettes this year, but I liked what is this, Smoky Quartz. I just felt like this is very wearable. It has the shiny shade on a lot of very useful colors for matte. You can make a lot of great looks out of this palette, very useful. I use a little bit of this light brown on my eyes today. And then this is very new, the Lisa Eldridge eyeshadow palettes. I think Vega is a favorite of a lot of people. I use these two stays, these two colors in my crease, I can't talk. And it just goes well with a lot of different looks, especially more cool tone blue looks. So I like Vega. I also have Sorcery and Myth. I just put out a video if you guys wanna check this out, but I know this is a new one. I just like the packaging. I like the formula, it feels different. Um, I know it's hard to stand out these days with eyeshadow, but I felt like this one does. I mentioned this earlier, the eyeshadow I'm wearing. These are, this is my multi-chrome palette. And this is the shade that I'm wearing on my lids. It looks very blue, but it does ship purple. And I did a little bit of this guy and this guy. I know you guys on my channel don't follow too much on the multi-chromes, but they are super pretty. If you ever want to check them out, let me know. All right, so let's get into skincare and other stuff a little bit because I feel like skincare is equally as important in my routine and I, if I don't wear makeup every day, I am always using skincare and it's just as I get older, so, so important, especially in the winter, it feels so dried out. So let's talk about that. All right, most of the skincare I have is not new by any means, but it's new to me. I got real expensive and bougie and really invested in my skin and tried things out and then bought the large size of them. Um, and just went with my gut and not so much the price. So my wallet took a hit, but let's get into it. Um, I picked up a large La Mer soft cream. I tried the small cream first. I got this from Costco and I've really been liking it this winter, really been relying on it day and night. And I, uh, besides the scents, some people say it's a spa scent. I think it's a little too strong. Um, but I get used to it and I got over it. I like it enough. I mean, it's kind of grandma-y. I like it enough otherwise. So I keep using it. If I thought it was a so-so formula, the scent would probably bother me more, but it seems to really help my skin. Um, I think mm, in the winter, maybe I could use a little bit moisture, more moisture, but... I do a lot of layering, so I think I'm okay. I don't love the regular cream that starts out pretty hard and you gotta warm it up. That's a little bit much for me. I do still tend to break out and I feel like that one is no go, but I do like the soft cream. Eye cream, I feel like this is actually really one of some of the best eye cream I've ever used. I do kind of tend to get a little bit of milia with it because it is that moisturizing. This is the Chantecaille Stress Repair Concentrate Plus. I really like it, uh, but it is almost too intense. <laughs> but, you know, just got to use a little bit. More Chantecaille. I got a couple masks. I like the Bio Lifting Mask. I feel like it does, I feel it tightening. Um, I don't use it enough. I need to remember to use it more, but whenever I do overnight, my skin looks better the next day. This one, I also need to use a little bit more often when my skin is feeling irritated and red. This is the Jasmine and Lily Healing Mask from Shansakai. This is one of those that I, I can't, I shouldn't really leave on too, too long because it's not super hydrating or anything. It's just more calming and cooling, but I do feel like it temporary gives me some relief. I do need to use it a bit more often though. Let's get into probably, 
I don't know if this is better than the cream, but these two together is really nice. But I really love the, the La Genesance, the infused lotion from La Mer. This guy, I think, is a, a product that is not talked about enough. It's so good. It makes your skin feel so soft. I just feel like it really feels like my skin is relieved and hydrated. And it's, for me, someone that doesn't like oils, the fact that this kind of masks so that there's an oil in it. You kind of have to shake it up when you apply it, but my skin just loves it. Drinks it up. This is my second bottle. Um, so cleanser, this is a new cleanser this year from Jordan Samuel, the matinee gel cream cleanser. I've been using it all winter. I love it for winter, even though sometimes I feel like my skin does need a little bit more anti-congestion or declogging. I still feel like this does a good job of cleansing my skin. This is a nice cleansing oil, very elegant, very thin oil, very nice texture. The fragrance is a lot. And of course it's a Chanel product. This is the, the La Huy anti-pollution cleansing, anti cleansing oil. It's very fragrance, but it's it's really nice experience in the shower. So I actually enjoy it. But some of you, if you've never tried Chanel skincare, may not love how fragranced it is. Okay, next up, I'm going to talk about a sunscreen that is pretty much a moisturizer. This is from Hada Labo. This is the SPF plus 50 plus PA four pluses. And this is basically a jar sunscreen, which is honestly a little bit odd, but it's basically like a pudding or a very gel like lotion. And I use this in the winter every day for sunscreen and it's, it's just nice. Very, very nice. So that's what I wanted to highlight for skincare. I have a couple of other products. This, I really got into shower, fragrance shower oils, sh shower gels. And this is not a new product, but this is from Eccentric Molecules, Eccentric 01 Body Wash. They have a body wash for every one of their fragrances. I'm almost out of this guy. Um, I've went through a lot of other brands that were fragrance as well. And I just really enjoy the experience of this one. Fragrance that is new this year. I have a lot of fragrances, but they're not all new. But this one is Little Wave Paula's Abusa Eclectic. This is a unisex type of fragrance. Um, it came out this summer as a flanker to their original Paula's Abusa fragrance, which I actually like a little bit better. But this is sort of the more fun tropical nighttime version. If I can open it. And I just love it. It's a little bit exotic, a little bit of fruity. If you haven't tried this out, it's it's not too bad for a designer fragrance. It's You can get these on sale, not too, too expensive. And I, I really like it. It is a Eau de Toilette, so it's not super strong and concentrated, but nice enough. All right, guys, that is it for my beauty favorites of 2022. Let me know your favorites in the comments below. If you like this video, click the thumbs up subscribe and I will see you all on the next one. Bye guys.